morning. You ready to go? I am ready to go. Everybody knows that I work and we've always alluded to Maria having a job, but we've never really said what it is. So in this video, we're actually going to give y'all a great resource that if you want to generate revenue on the, the road and work remotely, this is a 100% legitimate business that can pay for your travels, give you free campsites to stay at for two weeks at a time. It's not multi-level marketing. It's not anything nefarious. It's a legitimate program to work from. And we're going to cover that here in a minute. Go back through and I double check. I make sure our breakaway cable is done. Oh. I make sure that that chain is on there. I make sure that chain's on there. And this is why I do a double check because I didn't hook up the wire here. That's what happens when you're videoing while you're trying to <laughs> do other crap at the same time. Yeah, we get distracted. So now that I've got everything hooked up in the way it's supposed to be, I will go back and do a double check now that it's all hooked up. And this is actually my third check. So if I ever find a problem, I start all over again from step one. So I've got that in place. I've got the breakaway that, that is down on the thing and we are good. So now I'll do my walk around, make sure all the feet are up. And I won't take the keys out of that until I finish my walk around because that's the last thing I do. Somebody stuck this on our e-bike back in uh, Michigan in August. And it's a magnet. I don't know who did it, but it's still there. <laughs> All right, so now that we're not hooking the truck up, this video is gonna be based on four parts. The first part is gonna be for you, those of y'all that are wanting something that that you can work at and basically pay for your travel. Yep. The second part is gonna be for campgrounds because campground owners, you guys are gonna wanna get in on this too. Yep. The third part is gonna be the benefit of businesses because we're gonna point out how as a business you can take advantage of the RV industry to actually help grow your sales. The fourth part is the end part where we're basically going to tell you how to go about getting involved with this. Um, we're not going to release the name of the company right off the bat. And the reason why is there's a lot of y'all out there that want something for nothing. And we're not going to be a party to, to this company being bombarded by y'all. Yeah. Um, it's legitimate work and you, you have to put some effort into it. All right. It looks like we're fastly approaching the banks of the little pigeon. All right, so for workers, what, what do they need to know? What we do is we go into campgrounds and they, you know, when you get into a campground, they give you a map and that you look at that map to see what's around the area. You have to look at it every day to figure out where the garbage can is, where the bathhouse is, where the dog park is, all of that. Well, usually there's ads around the edge of that map. And what we do is we go in there, they give us a two week free stay and we go and sell ads for their map. So grab right. a campground guide <clears throat> and like Maria said, each one of those, those advertisers in there have been contacted. So when we pull up, I go to work Monday through Friday doing my job. Maria immediately pulls the, the sheet on the campground she finds the existing advertisers on it, calls them, gets them to renew, and then spends time adding additional people to it. Yeah. So what's the what's the breakdown on on that? What what percentage of that advertising money do you get to keep? Sixty five percent. And the two week stay in the campground is free. That's fifty amp full hookups. Yep. Two two weeks completely free. And the campgrounds are happy to give it to you because you're helping them out because they get their maps for free. 
So honestly, how, how difficult would, would you rate the job and what would you say about the management of the company that you work for? So I have a small sales experience from being a photographer selling portraits and working for my dad selling audio visual equipment from you know years and years past I, I am kind of an introvert but I don't find this job hard I can make you know I can use the phone I can drive around I can you know it's I can use a computer it's pretty easy <laughs> so um, you can make it absolutely make it as much or as little work as you want there are people making six figures there was one guy that made half a million dollars this year but um you can also there's also people that are making this doing this business very successfully that are only working five months out of the year who dictates what park you work in me nobody <laughs> tells you what part you just pick whatever park you want and if if they're available to be worked you work it yeah there's nobody hounding you nobody making you do anything no so you basically decide what area of the country you want to work in. Yep. You look up to see if there's a campground that needs their map updated. Uh-huh. And then you call and say, you want to work this area. Mm-hmm. You arrange for the free two week stay while you're, you're working that campground. Yep. Who dictates the hours that you work? Me. Who? Absolutely me. <laughs> Nobody, oh, only me. <laughs> nobody mandates that you start at eight or no. that you finish at five or no. Nobody tells me what time I have to work or how many hours a day. So it's... let let's just say that that we wanted to go do something on a Thursday, and you were working a park, but that that something we we wanted to do was going to take all day. So how how does that work? You just take the day off or yeah i mean you don't have to call anybody tell no. them you're taking the day off no i don't <laughs> so you're completely independent to do what you want when you want yep and, and you get paid for it yeah absolutely that is my title independent consultant when you get done after two weeks you you turn the the job in and you you submit the the money that that people have paid for the advertising how long does it take to get paid a week and that goes directly into an account or is that a check or they they direct deposit the money right into my bank account what if you just want to take a month off is there any requirement to work every week or every month no in fact i'm taking a month off right now <laughs> all right is there minimum jobs a year that you have to do to stay active yes how many jobs are that eight when you started this did you and not knowing anything about it did they provide you any training whatsoever yes so we had a training for like three days and they went through every single thing every question in fact you're under a trainer for your first three jobs so they kind of hold your hand through all of it and in a good way tell you you know you critique your work and tell you what you can do next time to fix it and you can ask them any questions you want they're a very very good company it's super supportive there's got to be a lot of money changing hands all right so the advertisers that are that are paying for these spots in there do when when they cover the the cost of that advertisement to go into the guide you have to charge them somehow so does does the company that you're working for, do they give you all the equipment you need to facilitate those charges? Yes. And did it cost you anything to buy that? No. So let me get this right. And this is where we're going to end the, the worker side of it. You get to pick what part of the country you go to. You get to pick what campground you work in. You get to pick the days that you work. You get to pick the hours that you work. You don't have anybody micromanaging you. Nope. You can do as many parks as you want or as few, as long as you do eight a year. Mm -hmm. They give you all the training. They give you all the equipment minus a personal PC if that's what you're gonna use. Right. And it costs nothing. That's true. That's absolutely right. 
And if you're a campground owner, this is why you would want to contact this company or Maria to get you in touch with this company. So one, what would be a major monetary benefit for a campground to use this company to use somebody like you as an independent contractor? The main one is the campground maps. You don't have to purchase those anymore. We provide all of that. All you gotta do is give us a site for two weeks and you get your maps for free. Okay. So that's huge. Cause some parks print like 10,000 maps a year. 5,000, 3,000 is the average, but some of them do like 10,000 a year. Some of them have a book, some of them have a fold up thing, you know. That's a lot of money. Okay. So what, what's the other one that you could think of? A reservation system that's absolutely free to campground owners. All right. So I, I find that hard to believe because, <laughs> you know, rarely is there anything for free. So there's this reservation system, um, surely it's like hip camp to where they tack on $20, $30 per reservation and that gets pushed off to the, to the customer. No. It, it charges three dollars to each cust each reservation no matter how many sites you're booking no matter how many work days weeks whatever months you just get three dollars one time that's it so what if i wanted, what if i wanted to modify a reservation would it charge an additional fee on top of that nope so it, it's literally three okay here, here's a good one what if what if you make that reservation and then you cancel it does the three dollars get returned? Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. So, so for a campground, it would behoove them because it'll lower their operating costs by they no longer have to print the the guides. Right. But the trade-off for that is they have to give an RV site for two weeks for somebody to come in and work the park to sell the advertising. Right. Okay. The other benefit. Which to, I mean, if you compare apples to apples like normally a two-week stay is around six hundred dollars but printing maps can get into thousands of dollars yeah because then they don't have to fool with the graphics they don't have to keep the right. people on staff they don't have to design anything all right so we have a team of artists that design the whole map so the number one benefit one is a reduction in cost by by the maps themselves mm -hmm. the second one is you give them a full a full reservation system that is and y'all i'm i'm sorry but I'm, I'm gonna have to cut in here on the interview a little bit i've seen the reservation system and it smokes the the two that are out there yeah um it is full of it it will actually integrate into a voice over ip system for point and click um dialing of of your people staying um it will do automated text messaging it it's you can integrate almost anything you can think of into it yeah it, it's very powerful and like maria said it's three dollars a reservation so i know from personal experience maria and i stopped in arizona and we were going to stay at a <clears throat> a specific park and the reason why is because it was right there near horseshoe bend yep it's about a mile from 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 the river mm -hmm. it was originally like 65 dollars and by the time we we got everything checked out and the fees and everything and i'm i'm calling this specifically out the hip hip camp because it made me that mad hip camp added 23 dollars a day to the reservation and it took that reservation to over 80 dollars a day which we were only planning on spending 60 65 for a campground to be, we would never stay there again because of those fees it's ridiculous right so for a campground to be able to rent a site for three dollars per reservation to lower the the cost for rvers um it's a big deal all right part three is is why businesses would would want to contact this company so What's the number one reason that a business would want to contact an independent contractor like yourself to get inside this guide? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but number one, our beers have disposable income. They're out 
exploring the country doing fun things already and you want your business name in front of those people another reason they're going to look at this map probably every single day they're there they got to know where the garbage can is they got to know where the laundry is they want to know where the dog park is you know different things we as RVers look at that all the time while we're here I keep it on the fridge or on the counter the whole time we're at a campground so we're we're in Gatlinburg we're talking about what the benefits to businesses would be and my question is let's say the you know most of the campgrounds in in Gatlinburg are, are of the same average size mm -hmm. so what do you do when you go into into a specific campground so that you can assure a, a business advertiser that their money is being well spent so when i go into a campground and i find out from the manager the owner how many people they think that have they have reservations per year and how many people are coming through here on average it's usually anywhere from 12,000 people per year to up to like 50,000 people per year that are turning over in these campground spots so instead of someone coming into a city like this where there are businesses literally on every square inch of every mile and you may get lost in that shuffle but if you get advertisement on a campground guide you know that your business name and your advertisement is going to be in front of those campers every day that they're there so that's going to give you a much larger chance that they're going to come to your store even if one percent of those people come to your store that's going to more than pay for your ad all right so that that brings up a a good point i'm assuming there are multiple size ads and there are multiple size prices <coughs> what if you're what are some of the the businesses that that are great to to place an ad in there any business that is looking for people to spend some money in their store is a good candidate this business do they have to have their ad already built no they do not as i said before when we were talking about the campgrounds and their maps we have a team of artists that make the ads part four of this we've gone through you know what it's like to work there we've gone through how it benefits campgrounds We've gone through how it benefits businesses. To go full cycle on this, there's some of y'all that are really interested right now. All right, so those that are interested and want to do the same thing that, that you do, how do they go about, about doing that? Just leave us a comment. Reach out to us. You can email us. You can leave a comment. And we will tell you more about it if you have questions. We'll get you in touch with the right people if you are very serious about it but the reason we're not giving out their information is because i actually really like these people <laughs> i have a lot of respect for them and i know they're busy i know that they value you know my time and your time and their time and i don't want them to be bombarded by a bunch of questions that i could answer and people that may or may not be serious about this Hi, we're Steve and Patty Herman. I'm Steve. I'm Patty. We go by Salt and Pepper. Yeah. S and P. <laughs> and we are from Tennessee. But we're full-time RVers. Full-time. So we winter here in Tennessee, and the rest of the year, about seven or eight months of the year, we're out on the open road. Hey, good morning. Hi. How are you, sweetie? <laughs> this has been so great spending some time with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I love what we're doing. So we met these guys in Sault Ste. Marie back in July. Yeah, July last and year. And they told us about this awesome job they had. And I was looking for something to do. And so what did you tell me you did? Well, we were work camping for a while and we got kind of frustrated because we were we couldn't go anywhere, right? We were stuck in one place. Yeah, we're, yeah we we're just so stuck. We enjoyed work camping. It was kind of fun. I mean, it was a different experience. And it was a great thing to do after we retired, you know, to get out and move around and meet other people. But we still want to make some money. Yeah. It's not bad. Making but, money is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Social Security wasn't quite getting it done. So we needed to just be able to 
travel. And we wanted to travel. Yeah. We Yeah. We've wanted to travel for forever. Raise yeah. the kids and, and now here we are. Just hooking up yeah. and every two weeks we go from one, one resort to the other and we and we're making money. What and got our attention was they told us they got to stay at their campgrounds for free. Yeah. And we were looking at something to supplement our thousand well we didn't even have our thousand trails at that time we had just been spending money spending money on all these campgrounds and they told us they were staying for free and we we're like that sounds interesting and you're making money too how is so that you, possible so we go to a campground a resort some are on our schedule and some we we just go in and see what they've got and mm -hmm. ask them if they want to make a change and uh <clears throat> but we focus on their guest guide and map mm -hmm. for the for the resort or the park or the campground everybody gets one when they check in so every, they need one for everybody and they give us two weeks free stay and during those two weeks we go out and we gather advertisers who pay for the yeah. upcoming seasons uh guest guide new and guides maps. yeah yeah, yeah. So. and when we met y'all so it's a win-win it's a win-win for the campground and it's a win-win for the advertisers and it's a win-win for us cause for us yeah we make money on yeah how much we sell and know? we get to eat all that good food that from the restaurants you know that advertise and we get to go in to the museums and go on the boat rides yeah. and the tours and see all the beautiful you know places this year we're going to go see lighthouses we're going to go uh, and see some uh adventure out where they make maple syrup and stick those things in the tree and oh so it's gonna cool. be so much fun we couldn't get it all done last year so yeah, yeah. but when we met y'all we were just like we always are really excited to tell somebody that we get to just go from place to place for free that's probably yeah yeah <laughs> we just love to tell tell that story but it is really a big part of yeah. cutting back on our travel expenses so we can get out and about so yeah it has yeah. helped us cut down on our travel expenses as well oh good oh good so of it. you have a trainer that trains you they work with you on your first three jobs it makes it super streamlined to get into the company and then you just go from there a lot of support a lot of people will support you and help you yeah. they've gone before you and so you can call them and ask them what to do about this what to do about yeah. that that's how to do here. what we do that's super important because okay so that's what we're doing here this week is that we've been at a conference this week and met, got to meet with all our fellow consultants and learn a bunch of stuff and get awards and money and <laughs> <laughs> yeah go to dinner and have a good time the best part of all of this is the credibility of the company yeah and then and then the it's been around for what almost 30 years yeah, yeah. and then the fact that we can we didn't we looked in work camper news for some other ideas and we found other companies that wanted us to do stuff and it was stuff that we could have done as professional you know kind of tied in with yeah. our previous professional experience but they were telling us where to go they were telling us what kind of rig we had to have yeah they were not paying our uh expenses on right. you know um where we were staying a lot of it's like manual labor too isn't it <laughs> it was not good it was not good. this really fit the bill for us and so having our second career i guess as mm -hmm. retirees to be able to plug into a company we you know we're at a stage of our lives where we're going to work with someone who has the credibility that we want to yeah. we want to tie our wagon to and this company has been fabulous and you totally get to pick your route of where you want to go you get to pick and choose the locations you want to go to and it's makes it a lot of that yeah. makes it a lot of fun they don't tell you where to go you get to choose although 2023 was our first year first full year and so we have our route developed yeah. now yeah so we just go on the same route yeah pretty much we're going back and doing things that we didn't get to do last year because we didn't have time to get it all in yeah. you know and now we know the people we know the parks we know the community we're very excited to go back our second year i think that's probably if you can get through your first year i think you can get into your second year and really enjoy this yeah, yeah. hi my name's mark if you've ever thought that traveling and getting paid to do it is a great idea i did too and i'm doing it i'm living it it's a real thing you can do it if i can do it anybody can and uh seeing folks seeing beautiful scenery, waking up in the morning in the mountains. 
Not too bad. <laughs> Hi guys, we are the Robinsons from Ohio and we got started in doing what we're doing because he retired. Yes, I did. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't ready to retire yet. Um, he told me we own two businesses. He came in and told me, hey, we're going to retire and we're going to travel. Well, I wanted to do something from the road. I need to do something from the road. So we hooked up with a great company and... Friends of ours recommended them. Yep. 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 Friends of ours recommended it, Russ and Deb and highly recommended and uh, that's where they got the ball rolling and uh, now we're on the road we still have our house yep. so have a brick and mortar house uh, we'll be selling it within the next year or two and be full-time but right now we're uh, part-time part full full-time part-time yeah <laughs> yeah um, this year we really want to concentrate on Indiana Illinois Ohio and Kentucky we want to be up there during the spring summer and fall and just bounce back and forth through campgrounds visit friends um, but still be close to home and be able to go home for graduation um, family events um, and you're picking your own route yeah so. we're picking yeah. our own route yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Good. And, and she didn't introduce me. I'm oh, Robbie, and I'm, this is Trish. Yes, I'm Trish. <laughs> <laughs> this, yes. Uh, and then we also travel with our two puppy dogs. A couple Dil of golden doodles. Yep, Dylan and Peanut. When COVID hit, uh, we didn't want to travel. You know, these travels shut down, so mm -hmm. we bought our first camper and started out traveling. And uh, our first dog, Golden Doodle, Dylan. And it was so nice being on the road and having the convenience. And then. Uh, this opportunity come along and it's really helped increase our uh, income um, it's a great company mm -hmm. can't say enough about it skies are the limits yes. oh yeah, yeah. Yes. for real yeah. and y'all are pretty new too yes so. yes yep yeah very new um and you've been doing it since july yeah. of 2023 yeah. and we have five parks under our belt so yeah yes it's a lot of fun yes it is a whole bunch of fun so with that we're going to wrap this video up now you know what both of us do for a living while we're on the road and actually how we finance this lifestyle we'll see you next time bye